Jeremiah 29, 11 is what the enemy is after. He's trying to stop it, right? And he cannot stop it if you and I give him access. So the defeated enemy who scripture tells us that we are seated high above, he's under our feet, is trying to act as though he has power, but he has no power. He has no access, but he's after you and I, Jeremiah 29, 11, right? Um, but why are we giving him access? Why are we giving him access to our minds? Why are we giving him access to our bodies? Why are we giving him access to our voice when we ought to be using our voice to tell our story and the lessons that we learn from them and being the voice for the voiceless, speaking up for those who can't speak for themselves? Why aren't we using that access and this powerful voice? So the enemy is after you, Jeremiah 29, um, 11. So let me read, let me read it. He said, it says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. Plans to bring about the future you hope for. Then you will call to me and you will come and pray to me and I will answer you. 13 says, you will seek me and you will find me because you will seek me with all your heart. That sounds like access to me. So that's what he's after. Our access to come to God, to seek him with all our heart, wholeheartedly, and we'll find him. Right? He's after to stop, in, to stop us from calling to God. He's after us because he wants to stop the plans that God has to bring you prosperity and and not, to, and not to bring us disaster. So that's what he's after. Everything pertaining to you. So I'm saying, tell him not today. I'm not big and serious. You take your glasses off if you have to. It's like, not today. You ain't getting access today. You gotta try another day, Mr. Devil. But I like how this translation said. He said, I alone know the plans I have for you. He alone know the plans I have for you. Not your friends, not your, what your mind saying to you, you know, you're not worthy and all of that. That's what the enemy is trying to do. So we say not today. No access. Don't give him no access today. Just, just cry out, not today. Loudly if you have to. And don't be ashamed about it. Your voice is powerful. Somebody is waiting on your voice and the enemy knows it. Somebody is waiting on that story. That, that 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 situation those lessons that you learned whether it's a skill you learn from something whether the experience you overcome something and you have those beautiful lessons that you learn that the Holy Spirit download into your heart is after that and if he can stop you then that means the next person will need that encouragement and who need us to intercede um whoops who need us to intercede on their behalf they won't hear our voice can you imagine if I have given him that much access to and upon this point of my life? You wouldn't hear my voice. But no more. No more. I know the plans I have for you, said the Lord. Give him no access today. Your voice is powerful. Your story is powerful. And you might say, you don't know what I've been through. Absolutely not. But what I do know is that you have some lessons that I can learn. And you need to teach it, right? You have some people right now. You are their shepherd. So, we ain't gonna give the enemy access no more. It's after our Jeremiah 29, 11. And you can read it for yourself in whatever translation that comes in your spirit. And what is Jeremiah? Jeremiah is one of the books of the, the Old Testament. We have the Old and we have the New Testament. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, con con we're gonna I am going to continue this conversation. I'm gonna record a, a um, video on my, my YouTube page. I'm going to put it there so you can up over and you continue to, and, and listen to the conversation and see the scriptures and um, we can probably read a couple of different scriptures and translations and so on and see if the Holy Spirit have anything else you wanted to add the enemy is after your awesomeness he's after your power he's after your capabilities he's after your creativities he's after your uniqueness he's after your message that you have for the people. He's after your light. 
but he is defeated and we need to we need to hear that more often the enemy is defeated the enemy is defeated thank you so much for joining thank you so much for walking with me thank you so much for listening and i want to implore you to share it i'm not just saying share for the sake of share i'm saying really truly share to somebody else who might need some encouragement to know that the enemy is after your jeremiah 29 11 through 13. i mean you can read the whole chapter but that one right there it says and i'm reading from the the good news uh translation you can read it into whatever translation you prefer right don't make that be a discussion and a big argument whatever you prefer you read you read that scripture in that right it said i alone know the plans that i have for you only him know the plan that he has for you, nobody else and if the enemy can get it to be disobedient if him can get it to be hopeless if him can get to be fearful if him can get access to your mind your body your emotion and everything he just steals you destroys you his next stop is to killing you right scripture says if you love me you keep my commandment if you love me you know what i say You're awesome. Your voice is powerful. And just say no to the devil. We're going to continue the conversation on, on my YouTube page. So up and over, as soon as I, I record, I'm going to drop the link below this comment. So you can um, click on it and continue the conversation. And if you know somebody who needs some encouragement, share with them. Excuse me, your voice is powerful. Your uniqueness only you your fingerprint only you yeah. I want you to connect with us I want you to send us an email get in our email I'll try to click on the link in the in the, in the bio and I'm gonna drop the link in the comments here too and I want to I want to hear from you I would love for you to jump on our, our email list a newsletter and we can share backstories, can be transparent and real with you. Why? So that you will be inspired to take inspired actions and start to walk in your in walk boldly. Standing up boldly and said, I am a child of the, of the living God. I am a child of the one true God. Scripture talks about. Right? I get I, I get I get very mad and angry when I see the enemy trying to be as though he has power. When I see him trying to be as though he's relevant. No, you are the relevant thing here. You are the light of this world. You are the salt of this earth. So you can lose your flavor and you cannot cover your light. And your voice is one of a kind. Your story, incredible. The message that you have, mm, only you got it. Okay? So, I thank you so much for walking with me. And share with us. Check us out. We have the link up there. Um, click on it and see the various things that we have. We're encouraging mothers who have a child with special needs, Down syndrome. We have a group. We have an awesome uh, group of family in there. And we're just sharing and building each other up and uh, bringing hope. Hope, my God. So we can stop being hopeless. Because God says that he knows the plan set for you. Plans to give you future and hope. Until next time, this is Marsha Wagam saying, check us out, check out the, the, um, the continuation of the conversation on my YouTube page. Check out our, our podcast, Voice of Hope Show. And if you have a message in your story, you want to, you want the, you know, if you want the courage, if you want to build up back your courage and the boldness, let's not get boldness now, you have it if you have the Holy Spirit, right? To share that message, I want you to reach out to me. You know what? Guess before said, that Marsha, you have a way, you're like grace to help us to bring our story up. So I can't help you with that. 
okay? So your voice can be heard globally. So until next time, Marsha saying, um, uh, be bold, be blessed, because you are blessed. Keep soaring. God loves you.